Hi and hello, I am Ajina Pandit here. In this video, I am going to say something about uh, uh, the furthermore clarification about the X-ray. In the previous video, we saw about the collimeter. What is collimeter? What is the purpose of collimeter? We are used in the X-ray mission. So here, I am going to talk something about the in-depth uh, development of, of collimeter. Okay. So what are all the collimeter there, and which are all the collimeters it is used for taking the X-ray? Because the collimeter purpose and the collimeter usage I told you. Now I am going to say in detail about the type of collimeters and what is the purpose that particular types will be used. Okay, come let me see the board video. Types of collimeter. I already told you the collimeter is the one that is used to determine the width of the source. If you want the small width you can adjust collimeter. If you want a large width, that is the collimeter which is used. Okay, This is what the length can be adjusted by using the collimeter. According to the length adjustment, we can use the collimeter in a different way. There are four different types of collimeter actually used in the medical field. One is pin hole collimeter, parallel hole collimeter, divergent collimeter and convergent collimeter. You must be understand about the name itself it shows. It is very simple actually. The name itself you can clearly understand and according to the name you can see the diagrams now. Then you can very clearly understand what is actually the purpose of each and every collimeter. So if you want the small pin hole, the single dimensional source you required for a small area of depth, we can use the pin hole collimeter. That is more enough because it is only providing the small hole, the single way of collimeters. Okay, initially the Ranjan did this particular uh, this particular pinhole collimeter only, the small way. After that only, once he decided that he need to take the X-ray image of the human body, then only he decided that this small pinhole is not enough. We need to go for the, some other things like that. The pinhole collimeter here. Then that will be spreaded, that will be converting into the parallel hole collimeter. In that, the hole, the number of holes will be increased, that's all. The number of holes will be increased, that's all. So the number of holes will be through that holes, the rays are coming in a parallel way. That is what the parallel hole collimeter is. And then the divergent, the holes are put in the inclined form. Okay, then you can able to spread it over in the length of the object. If you want to take the length in very broad nature, then you can able to use this particular thing. Then what is the purpose of convergent means? You just think the pinhole and the convergence is more or less simple. But what is the reason why one more thing added for the convergent is, for example, the intensity of the X-ray will be large in the small area. We can use this convergent. Okay, all the intensity will be come in play in a single way. That's why this pinhole collimeter that is instead of pinhole collimeter, this convergent collimeter is used. I hope you can clearly understand pinhole, parallel hole, divergent, and convergent. So, according to the purpose of the collimeter used, for example, if that is a long intensity required, then convergent is more preferable. If the person's whole body can be scanned, or the abdominal region will be, or the chest region will be, then go for the divergent. Then the parallel hole, for example, it is a bone, for example, it is a spinal cord. If you want to take the spinal cord of each and everything, then the each and every disc can be imaged by using the parallel hole. For example, it is a small, for example, the small in the finger, you need to take the image. Then you go use for the pinhole collimeter. So this is what the types of the collimeter is. Inside the collimeter, the mirror will be placed. The mirror can use it, the mirror is helpful to activating all this collimeter in a perfect manner okay so this is what the collimeter i need to explain you in the next video we will go for the next part of the x-ray machine thank you very much